G6PD deficiency. Introduction. Glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency or G6PD is the most common enzyme deficiency worldwide. It increases the vulnerability of RBCs to oxidative stress, resulting in a spectrum of disease which includes neonatal hyperbilirubinemia, acute hemolysis, chronic hemolysis, or absence of clinical symptoms. It is most commonly found in persons of African, Asian, Mediterranean, or Middle Eastern descent. Pathogenesis G6PD deficiency is an inherited disorder, the gene for which is on X chromosome. Since males have a single X chromosome, if it is defective, the disorder is present. Therefore, G6PD deficiency is more common in males. Females have two X chromosomes. If one abnormal and one normal gene is present, she will have a mild disease. If both the X chromosomes are abnormal, she will have G6PD deficiency. What is G6PD? G6PD is an enzyme present in the RBCs, which catalyzes conversion of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate or NADP to its reduced form that is NADPH in the pentose phosphate pathway. G6PD protects the RBCs from oxidative damage caused by certain drugs, infections, foods like fava beans by producing the NADPH. Oxidative damage can cause acute hemolysis leading to anemia. Between the episodes of anemia, the person is completely healthy. Interestingly, G6PD deficiency gives some protection against malaria. The diagnostic tests 1. Dye reduction tests, the meth hemoglobin test, which will be described here. 2. The rapid card test, which is also explained here. 3. The fluorescent NADPH spot test. 4. PCR mutation detection, the meth hemoglobin reduction test for G6PD deficiency. Principle Sodium nitrite converts hemoglobin to meth hemoglobin HI. Incubation of the samples with methylene blue allows stimulation of the pentose phosphate pathway in subjects with normal G6PD levels. The HI or methemoglobin is reduced during the incubation period. However, in G6PD deficient persons, the blockage in the pentose phosphate pathway prevents this reduction. When no methylene blue is added, methemoglobin persists which acts as a positive control. Interpretation in G6PD deficient patients, the block in the PPP pathway prevents reduction of methemoglobin back to hemoglobin. The sample of a normal person gives a clear red color, while the G6PD deficient sample has a brown color due to the persistence of methemoglobin. Reagents 1. Methylene blue chloride 0 0.0004 molar Add 150 mg methylene blue chloride in 1000 ml of distilled water. Sodium nitrite solution 1.25%. Sample A fresh whole blood sample collected in EDTA or heparin only. The samples must be processed within one hour of collection since the G6PD enzyme actively decreases on storage at 2 to 8 degrees centigrade. Blood samples may be collected in ACD and can be stored up to 7 days at 2 to 8 degrees centigrade before performing this test. No special preparation of the patient is required prior to sample collection by approved techniques. Procedure Take three test tubes and label them Test, Positive Control and Negative Control. Add the reagents as under. Reagent Sodium Nitrite 0.1 ml to the test, 0.1 ml to the positive control and nil to the negative control. Reagent Methylene Blue Solution 0.1 ml to the test nil to positive control and nil to negative control. Sample blood, 2 ml to the test, 2 ml to the positive control and 2 ml to the negative control tubes. Step 2. Place in a water bath at 37 degrees centigrade for 90 minutes. At the end of 90 minutes, take out the tubes and mix by repeated inversions. Step 3. Take three test tubes and once again mark them as test, positive and negative control. Add 10 ml of distilled water to each tube. Now take 0.1 ml of aliquots from corresponding original tubes and add to these new tubes. 
Step 4. Mix by repeated inversions and wait for 2 minutes for the color to develop. Now match the color of the test with that of the positive and negative control tubes. Interpretation. An exact color match with positive control is positive or reactor, which means complete G6PD deficiency. An exact color match with a negative control means negative or non-reactor, which means no G6PD deficiency. An intermediate color development means intermediate reactor, which means partial G6PD deficiency. Rapid card test. There are some rapid tests also available as screening tests to detect G6PD deficiency. For example, the Binax Now G6PD test by Allier. It is simple in vitro enzyme chromatographic test. The sample required is whole blood in EDTA or heparin. The method. Step 1. Add 70 microliters of reagent A to the sample preparation vial. Step 2. Transfer 10 microliters of mixed blood to the sample preparation vial. Step 3. Mix the blood sample with reagent A. Step 4. Slowly add 50 microliters of sample to the middle of the white pad. Step 5. Remove the adhesive strip and securely seal the device closed. Step 6. For EDTA samples, read at 7 minutes and for heparin samples, read at 5 minutes. The result is indicated by a visual color change. The result is qualitative as normal or deficient. Who should be tested? This being a congenital hemolytic anemia, test in the following cases. Newborns with congenital hyperbilirubinemia. Children, especially male children, with a family history of jaundice, anemia, splenomegaly or cholelithiasis. Adults or children with acute anemia following infection or oxidative drugs or ingestion of fava beans. Presence of blister cells on peripheral smears may be indicative of G6PD deficiency and therefore warrant testing.